Hello everybody, we are back with another episode of DTV, the Digital Transformation Channel. My name is Layla Medeiros, I am the CMO of InfoStretch, and uh, we have gone global today. We have Antonio Grasso, who is joining us straight from Italy. Welcome yeah. Antonio. Ciao, ciao. Antonio, <laughs> Antonio is the CEO of a startup called Digital Business Innovation. So, um, Antonio, can you tell us a little bit about what uh, Digital Business Innovation is? Yeah, Digital Business Innovation is an Italian company. It's a startup I started uh, three years ago, 2016, after long experience in Europe and USA in uh, enterprise and public sector as a uh, software architect uh, and uh, I started also as a software developer in the 1983s a lot of times ago but actually I moved on the you know the intersection between uh, uh, technical side of uh, the process of the digitalization process and organizational and strategy so uh, uh, with my company we put focus on strategy and on technology because they need to uh, work together to uh, achieve uh, uh, a good uh, digitalization or innovation project and so you've been in uh, the technology world for some time now working with both enterprise organizations organizations also in the public sector startups and now today as you know, this whole digital storm is happening and everybody is getting on that uh, digital transformation bandwagon, if you will. Um, what are some of the, the differences you're seeing and the types of initiatives taken on by these different organizations in these different sectors? And also, how do you define digital transformation? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me clear the field uh, because we talk every time about digital transformation. We talk about digital transformation, but digital transformation is a phenomenon. It's a phenomenon that is driven by the digital diffusion. I think we need to we need to go one step back, starting from digitization. We have digitization, we have digitalization, and now we have a phenomena, big phenomena that is called a digital transformation. Let me say that the digitization is one of the first steps. If we have a product or a service that become digital, for example, the being in Lord the City, the music industry, the MP3, this is an example of digitization, one product that become digital. And then you have digitalization. What is digitalization? Digitalization is when a company changes the business model to harness the benefit from emerging technology or the product that is become digital. In the music sector, for example, digitization, we have MP3. In the digitalization, we have a big example is Apple, the Apple Store. The Apple Store is changing the business model where you you know you sell the music, uh, harnessing the emerging technology. And then we have digital transformation. Digital transformation is a system level restructuring of our society, our society, our economy, and our institution. So we cannot rely only on technology because it's not only technology. It's by attitude, it's by uh, mindset. And you uh, talk a little bit also in, in some of your uh, publications about cybersecurity. Um, so, and the importance of cybersecurity. And this is a time where it's almost like the Wild West and everybody's just, you know, um, doing their own thing and there are no regulations um, or there aren't many regulations. So I'm curious what at this point would be some of the greatest security implications that you feel that businesses should be aware of and uh, be, you know, um, keeping in mind right now as they evolve. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, it's not only technology. Cybersecurity is also on uh, people. It's really right. also on people. The people are the weakest link in data protection, I think, in my research and my work. But now we need to be uh, focused on really cybersecurity because it's slowing the digital transformation process. And is security really the decision of the business or is it going to become the decision of the um, you know, uh, regulatory boards and sort of government institutions and things like that? Both. I think we need, uh, we need uh, 
as, as you, we need an holistic vision about cybersecurity, we cannot only focus on regulation or on technology or on people behavior, people attitude. We need an holistic vision. We need to watch both and we need to grow in people culture, technology, uh, and also regulation by government. The problem is that in the connected world, you cannot stop the connection. The problem is right. that on the connection, you can unplug your computer, but you are no more connected. So automation will go down. Yeah. And I, I'm, I had one final question, and this is for those of us investors in the audience here. You know, you, you've been in the industry for some time. You are an expert in AI, uh, blockchain, cybersecurity, all facets of, of, of a lot of digital transformation. Where do you see there being um, any consolidation and where in, in terms of these types of segments within digital? And uh, like who's going to buy who, I guess? And the other question would be that, um, you know, where are some of the hot areas that are going to grow significantly? I mean, we're seeing IPOs left and right with the, in the technology world. Lyft just IPO'd, Uber's about to IPO. A number of companies like Zoom and, you know, um, and Pinterest and so on are, are going to IPO. And they're all, you know, digital first type organizations. But where do you see consolidation and where, what segment do you think is going to grow the fastest, in your opinion? Uh... IoT, uh, following uh, some uh, insight from um, the United Nations, will reach uh, 11 uh, trillion in 2030. So it's a big uh, opportunity. But also artificial intelligence and blockchain generate uh, a lot of value. The problem is that we need to put them together to create more value and let uh, emerging technology to give us a different kind of outcome. This is, I think, the future. The future will be the convergence of two or more emerging technology that can really help us to resolve, can be some problem related to cybersecurity, or can be, you know, automation, efficiency. But every time, every time, talk about uh, together, about uh, uh, complementary adoption of a technology, for example, blockchain with IoT for data monetization or digital right exchange or for secure update, artificial intelligence horizontally, because, you know, we have some technologies that are vertical and some that are horizontal can, you know, enhance each other. So let them to collaborate. We need to open right. our mind and collaborate with two, uh, with more um, emerging technology to create more value than the one peak in the law. This is my right. Thank you, Antonio Grasso, for your time today. And this concludes this episode of DTV. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye. And if you're passionate about uh, digital transformation and you'd like to come on our show, please don't hesitate to contact us at DTV at infostretch.com. We'd love to have you on. I want my TV.